Hi everyone, this is Hippa from My Little Journal and today I'm here to share with you the new kits and add-on stamp sets that are releasing today, January 1st, 2024 at Studio Calico. Um, so Studio Calico did some new changes to their subscription kits and I wanted to talk about it a little bit. So I'm gonna start with the kit this time around. I usually start with the stamps and the add-ons and all that good stuff. But today we're gonna talk about the subscription kit. So I'm gonna set these aside and we're gonna take a look at the new subscription kits. Okay, so Studio Calico has changed up their kits. And if you've been around for a while and you are a subscriber of Studio Calico, uh, they do change up their kits every once in a while. I remember back in the day when it was a scrapbooking kit, 12 by 12, and then it evolved and they brought on the Project Life kit and then it changed to Documenter kit and then they had a planner kit and so on and so forth. And then they started the Traveler's Notebook kit. Now in 2024, there's only two kits. The stamp subscription is the same. You get a six by eight and this is the new stamp subscription. I accidentally shared this last month in December, um, but we're okay. You just got a sneak peek of uh, January's subscription kit, but this is actually the new stamp subscription for January. And it's actually really, really cute. Putting that aside, the new kit um, is a six by eight and there's some changes in this kit drop the traveler's notebook kit but the six by eight paper can be trimmed down to four by six cards three by four cards and if you want you could either use them in your six by eight album or trim them even smaller to fit into your traveler's notebook uh, cover or whatever you're using it for this was kind of a bummer for me because you guys know I love Traveler's Notebooks, um, but I have been using my own Traveler's Notebook covers that I do sell in my Etsy shop. I'm gonna grab that and share it with you real quick. So I've been using these covers and I've been trimming down my Traveler's Notebooks as paper and adding them to discs and adding them into my covers. And it's been working really, really well for me and I love the system very much but no more traveler's notebooks to cut down, right? Um, the paper is gonna be thicker because this is more of like cardstock, which is fine, um, but I'm just gonna have to trim them down myself and add them into my traveler's notebook covers to create layouts. And actually today for my process video, I'm going to be doing that and sharing with you how I'm gonna trim this down to fit into my traveler's notebook cover. Anyways, enough with the talking, let's take a look at the kit. So with the changes as well, there's no longer a stamp set, a three by four stamp set that goes with this kit. There's some reason behind it. Um, now the stamp set is an add-on. Actually, let me grab it real quick. Okay, so this is the three by four stamp set that goes with the kit. Uh, it no longer comes with the kit, you will have to add this to your box. So it's an add-on, but it matches your kit perfectly. And now the stamps are better quality. So if you've been a subscriber to Studio Calico, at some time they changed the quality of the stamp set um, for reasons that has to do with the company and getting the stamps in time. And so to come back to a better quality stamp, they had to remove it from the the kit and offer it as an add-on. And I actually really, really like the stamp set. You guys know how much I love frames and I can't wait to use these because they're adorable. But anyways, with that said, let's take a look at the kit. I did open the kit. I was very curious to see the changes. I have to show this to you because it is adorable. So back in the day, Studio Calico used to add an element that had the month on there. And I do, do love this a lot. I'm gonna be cutting that out and adding it to my Project Life layouts for each month. 
because you guys know I've been documenting monthly in my project life, no longer doing weekly. So these are going to be perfect for that. I believe this is going to be throughout the whole year. So you're going to have the month right inside the envelope. So now that we do not have a stamp in the kit, you do get more embellishments. I'm going to go ahead and remove everything from the plastic. And then I want to share with you everything that comes in the kit. Alrighty, so this is what you're going to get in your kit. So the first thing is the chipboard, which I'm such a fan of. You guys know how much I love Studio Calico's chipboard. They do have those frames from that smaller three by four stamp set that you can add to your box. Love the colors on here, so beautiful, and it matches the kit perfectly. You also get this sheet of stickers, the houses and the buildings. Again, the colors, so, so good. And you get some green alphas. You also get a pack of circle die cuts. And they're really lovely. I actually really like these a lot because I like the simplicity of those. And you also get vellum frames, just like, whoops, just like the stamp set. So those are going to be fun to use. I think I might be using these today because they're just so cute. Anyways, you also get washi tape and this matches the envelope that my kit came in really pretty love the colors and then we're going to take a look at the six by eight paper so like i said you can trim them down or not it just depends on what you want to use them for and what kind of project you're working in but the one side has the three by fours and the four by sixes in the opposite side has patterns. So those are your four by sixes. And then the opposite side, there's a pattern. You could even use this to trim those out. That would be fun. So I would probably use my circle punch for that if I didn't want to use this side. You have four by sixes, so the new beginnings, reading list, and then the pattern again. That one's a lot of fun. And that one's a lot of fun as well. My struggle with this is trying to figure out which ones I like more. Do I like the pattern? Like, I love this pattern. So do I use that in my traveler's notebook? Or do I like this more and use it in my project life? So that's so where I'm kind of confused on what I want to do with my kit and how to use it. But I feel like it will not take me long to figure this out. Anything new, this happens to me. I kind of struggle in the beginning because I don't have a traveler's notebook kit anymore, but I kind of figure out my way. But I have to say it is worth it because you get a lot for your money. I love the cut aparts. That is so much fun. I really enjoyed these in the Halloween kit. So I'm excited that they're adding those in the kits as well. Or you use the opposite side. This could work in a traveler's notebook. I would have to trim it on both sides, but it works perfectly for a six by eight. But again, you get those cut aparts and then you have pattern in the back. Now we're getting into the three by fours. So it's either you do the pattern or the three by fours. And it's also like a good way to use your stash because if you're not into any of these cards, you could always use the pretty pattern in the back. And so you're not stuck with cards unused. I know I have a lot of those, honestly, even though I keep the cards that I like. But in the end, sometimes you just don't have enough layouts in your project life to use up all your cards. These are really pretty. I love that one a lot. So basically, you can kind of figure out which one you want to use for what project and not get stuck with three by fours and four by six cards that is probably just collecting dust because you have no space for it. But I love this. I love the little mini houses and I do like these as well. I think I'm going to end up using this one over that. But again, you get a lot of three by fours here. I do love the New Year 2024. Really, really cute, and I really love that pattern, but I also really love this. 
so that's where uh, I'm kind of confused. I could always add this as an insert, like a half, and kind of use these two cards because these are A-OK -okay for me, so I'm OK if I lose those cards, but still be able to use that pattern. So those are the decisions I have to make when I'm like working in this kit, and I do love that pattern as well. So you get a lot of cards and a lot of pattern paper here, more embellishments. You do have to purchase the stamp separately, but the stamp fits really well with the kit. So for me, I'd rather have a better quality stamp set than like a bad stamp set within this kit. So I'm, o I'm okay with getting this separately. Um, I know a lot of people might not like this decision, but I'd rather, you know, get better quality than get bad stamps that you can't use anymore, if that makes sense. Anyways, that is the new kit. I still want to share with you the new add-on stamp sets and some new products that they're going to be carrying in their shop in 2024. Okay, let's take a look at the new stamp sets. So this first one is like uh, Valentine themed. So you have the February 14th. I love this. I'm glad we're a match. And then you have a match stick there. Lucky to have you. All the heart eyes for you. And then you have the XO. Really, really cute. Really excited for this one. Actually, those hearts are pretty neat as well because you can stamp the hearts and then stamp the inside of the heart, like the line going through it with a different color and then add some of those words in there. That's going to be fun. This one I like because I know it's like the smallest things on a stamp. So these little shapes I've been using in my planner to document what I'm grateful for throughout the month or the day. And these are bigger, so I might be using this and it has an outline, so I'm totally using that. But also it has like grateful for the little moments, saying yes to new things, hooray. So these are really cool to fill in. Uh, kind of like a prompt for my journaling. Loving the new Alpha. This I am so excited for. You guys, look at the little smiley faces and sad faces, angry faces. It's just like so many different emojis there. Uh, and then you can stamp those in your little period. And that would look so adorable. Even like if you stamp the I, you could do that or the J. That is so fun. I'm excited for that one. And then we have this fun stamp. I do have something very similar to this, um, I believe from Carrie Bradford. But the difference here is these are smaller. And then you have these two different boxes that help you stamp out what you need. So for this one, I would stamp the numbers. So let's say 10, I would stamp 10 down here using my numbers. And right above it, you can stamp the year, the day or the month. And then let's say you want to add the day and the month, you can use the bigger box, which is so cool. I love that because these are really hard to stamp in a line. Believe me, I've tried and I kind of gave up at some point. I just stamp them and I don't care if they're, you know, um, a straight line but having the boxes is really gonna help me out here. So anyways, those are the add-on stamps. Let's check out the new products. So first off, we're gonna take a look at the new sticky notes, tab sticky notes. I think I'm, yeah, I'm trying to get these to face the right way. You have five different colors, pretty awesome. But the best part is they are transparent. That speaks to my heart, you guys. <laughs> they are all transparent. So the white, you can see right through it, right? It's like a creamy white. Let's check out the pink. This is going to be perfect for my daily journal and my planner. And then you have the pink, but it's still transparent with a hint of color. And they're all the same, different colors. And, but for these, you would have to use a permanent marker. Like your gel pen is not going to work on this. Uh, for me, I usually use my Sharpie pens for this. 
Uh, if you have any suggestions and have used these types of sticky notes, let me know what you use on there. If you're able to use any other pen. For me, I'm just sticking to my Sharpie pens. Um, and you can use, obviously, a Sharpie marker. But I do like these. I'm excited for these. These are going to be perfect. I hope they come out with more colors because this is definitely not my color. <laughs> like, I'm definitely not going to be using this. But the other ones are really pretty and I'm excited for. Now, this is new and exciting. I was kind of iffy about these thinking, what am I going to use them for? But once I got them and I held them in my hands and looked at them, I can totally see myself using these. So this first one is a planner for your week. So it's basically a week's planner. You have all the days of the week, but the weekend, so Saturday and Sunday are on one like line here. So you only have one space for your weekend, which is fine for me because I don't plan anything on the weekends. Like it's, you know, if we have a plan, I still don't sit there and plan it out or anything like that. It's really the weekdays that I have to kind of write things out. They are double-sided. The paper is great. It's not the thickest paper, but it works for, you know, a planner that I'm going to have sitting on my desk. I love that it stands. So this can stand on your desk, which is pretty cool. And that's what I am loving about this is because I can write out what I need to get done my to-do list, whatever the case is, and then you have notes on the bottom, and then stand it up on my desk and see what I have to get done that day. So this first one is the weeks, and this one is projects. This is cool. So I don't usually plan out my projects. I do plan out my classes, uh, my launches, uh, my new products that I'm coming up with, things like that. And I really, really like this. Again, it's double-sided and you have a place to write out your project, the date, overview, top priorities to do, and notes, which is great. I'm so excited for this. And again, it stands so you can have this sitting on your desk while, you know, you're working out your project or if you want to jot down more notes or whatever. This is so fun. I love it. Love the gold spirals as well and the craft covers. Really, really fun. Excited for these two and these released today. And you can, I believe you can add these as add-ons to your box if you are a subscriber. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up, wrap up this portion of my unboxing. I do want to work with the new kit and maybe do a traveler's notebook layout. Let's see how that goes. I know I'm gonna have to bring in some white paper because I'm not a big fan of pattern on pattern. So two different patterns on each side of my traveler's notebook layout. So that's gonna be a different change. I mean, it's a-okay, you know, I'm gonna um, learn as I go, but I wanted to share with you how I'm gonna use my kit and let's put together a traveler's notebook. Layout. Okay, let's start putting together a traveler's notebook layout. I'm just gonna go through my paper and try to figure out which pattern I wanna use for this spread. I also did find a four by six card while I was looking through my paper that had reading list, I think 2024 reading list. And I thought it would be fun to document all the books that I wanna read in 2024. And I could use that four by six card kind of like an interactive element for my layout. So what I decide to do is to go ahead and trim down that four by six card. And that's gonna be a great place for me to document all the books I wanna read. And then I'm gonna go through the patterns that I've chosen already and kind of bring it down to one. So I decide to go with this really plain, pretty one. It has like nice clean lines. And I felt like this would work really well with what I'm documenting. I did have to trim it down to fit into my traveler's notebook covers. And I'm gonna go ahead and punch out the holes for my discs. And once I punch those out, I noticed that the backside of my four by six card is not gonna fit well with my spread. So I go back into my paper and try to find something simple to back it up with. And I decide on this one, it just had, I forgot what the words were, maybe explore or something in white and black. And I thought it was, you know, calm enough to back up my card with, 
But I do regret it, you guys. Later on, when I start decorating and adding all the things, I just didn't like it, but I just leave it as is. I'm not going to worry about it, honestly. I just wish I went with just a plain piece of grid paper. Anyways, let's move on. I'm going to set aside my 4x6 card. I'll come back to it and add all my books. But for my layout, I really want to use these vellum frames and create a wall full of frames. And I thought it would be fun if I filled in the frames with some of the book covers that I would like to read in 2024. You'll see me here kind of moving them around to make them fit. Once I have them in the right place, I'm going to go ahead and print out my book covers. I did print out my photos on sticker paper. This is some new sticker paper that I've discovered and have fallen in love with. Been using it non-stop especially for layouts like this it's not a photo of one of my kids or myself or something that I want to you know be printing on photo paper it's just photos of book covers so I'm okay with printing them out on sticker paper if that makes sense and it's easier to work with in a layout like this I'm just going to go ahead and back up some of those frames with my book covers I'm going to leave the two circle frames empty because I thought it would be fun to maybe stamp in them, maybe use some embellishments, just so I can fill them out with something cute and kind of break down those book covers a little bit. Now that I'm done sticking down my frames, I'm going to grab my chipboard and I'm going to add some chipboard to the opposite side just to break down the colors and also to bring in some more color, you know, kind of to match my frames. And I end up adding one of the circle chipboards in one of the circle frames, but I don't like it and I'm going to change my mind in a little bit and remove that and add something different. But for now, I'm stamping one of the flowers from the 3x4 stamp, the add-on 3x4 stamp. This is where I change my mind and I grab one of the flowers from the chipboard and add that instead and I like it much more. I didn't like the circle on circle kind of thing. I'm using the words on the stamp set to add to my little flowers and my frame just to fill in the space. And I love doing this. Uh, curving your stamps does not ruin your stamp. Once you remove it from the block, the stamp block, it will just go back to being a straight stamp. And now I'm just drawing my little hinges to hold my frames. I really enjoy doing that. It just looks more like a frame on the wall. And it looks really cute until I start working on my 4x6 card. Like I said earlier, I had something in mind where I was adding all the layers and I was making it look really cute and chunky. But I really end up not liking what I created on the backside of that 4x6 card. So what I end up doing is I start by using the cut apart sheets. I love these cut apart sheets and I thought I could use some of the elements and I end up trimming out the tag. I really like the little circle and I thought I could punch out the circle with a circle punch and then uh, add some foam dots on the back of the circle to make it pop up. Just add some depth to the card. But man, did I not like this. I even add some chipboards as well to add more texture and thinking that maybe adding a different color or element would help the end results, but I just did not like how it turned out. And this is where I come in and tell myself it's okay. Not everything I create has to be perfect or look like what was in my head. It's not a big deal, it's just paper. And I had fun putting this spread together. So I'm just gonna move on from it. I'm not even gonna worry about it. Uh, you'll see here, I grab my stamp, thinking that maybe if I stamped something on my tag, it would look a little bit better, but I still didn't like it. I add the chipboard and I still didn't like it. And so at this point, I'm like, I'm just gonna move on from this. 
I do like the opposite side and I do like the A side of my four by six. I'll grab my pen and add all the books that I wanna read in 2024 and it looks great. But once you flip over the card, I'm just not loving it. And I'm just gonna move on from it. Anyways, I am gonna call my layout done. I'm gonna grab my peachy binder add my layout in my peachy binder. Now I did want to mention when you first start using your peachy binder, it's hard to put in the discs and it's hard to, you know, get that first spread in just because the discs are kind of floppy and all over the place. But once you start adding to your discs, it looks amazing. It's easier to flip through and it's easier to add your new pages. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Don't forget today is release day at Studio Calico. I'm going to add all the links for everything I used and shared down in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.